Thanks and welcome to our sponsored segment. On this segment, we have the Federal Government and a large digital skill innovation program is a cutting edge youth and MSME empowerment initiative pioneered by Weber Bank in partnership with the FG. Uh, the program is strategically tailored to train and empower 2 million Nigerian youth and 1 million micro, small, medium enterprise MSMEs across the entire nation. Join us on the show now is the Divisional Head, Retail and SME at Women Bank, Ayo Dili Olojedi. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. So <laughs> tell morning. us about this FGAN, and that's um, Federal Government and a lot skill, I mean, the skill innovation. And innovation. Innovation program. Program. What is it about and how did you guys come about it? Okay, so let me start with the fun fact. Okay. Uh, Women Bank's mission is to empower lives through innovation. And, uh, you know, for over the years, we have, um, you know, been doing a lot of impact work and we've been able to sustain that uh, through a very deep-rooted commitment to empowering lives, a uh, deep-rooted commitment to supporting businesses. Um, so this particular initiative, there's a clear alignment um, of the objective of this program with the mission of the bank. We're trying to be able to empower about 2 million Nigerian youth and 1 million MSMS. So essentially, what are we trying to do? Uh, we're working with uh, the federal government. I mean, there's just no better platform to be able mm. to do this when you think about the overall outcome of uh, job creation. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, the program, it's a, a spectrum of activities from training to uh, incubation, to mentorship, to marketplace and exposure to ecosystem of investors. So what is it that I'm trying to say? Uh, there are a lot of programs out there in the country that focuses on training, equipping a lot of young Nigerians with, with uh, digital skills. But what it is that we're trying to do is to be able to uh, take that a notch higher uh, by helping them to be able to, uh, be, well, I mean, through the training programs, we'll be able to build businesses. Mm. And then after they have built the businesses, we would assign them uh, to mentors. We have a faculty of over 500 mentors that's going to work on this program with us. Uh, helping them to do, get them to stabilize in whatever business they've been able to create. Right. And it wouldn't matter whether you're a graduate or whether you've gone to school. We're just trying to be able to equip you uh, to um, sort of inspire some ideation around right. entrepreneurship or you gaining some employability skills. Right. Uh, and then after you have been able to do that, there's an opportunity for you to monetize and make money. So there's also a marketplace in the spectrum of all of the activities that we're putting okay. uh, together. So you can, so, so for instance, if you have learned maybe um, uh, web design, graphics, you, there's a marketplace where you can go to to be able to provide your services okay. and be able to make money. Right. Uh, so as you, um, you know, as, as you build a viable business, we have an opportunity to expose you to investors who okay. would invest in your business. We're looking to be able to get unicorns from this uh, uh, okay. particular right. um, initiative. So it's a very, it's very exciting time. Okay. Uh, collaborating with federal government, uh, you know, to you be able to like to provide a, um, a platform uh, for job creation. Okay, so um, although you may have mentioned a couple of these, but is, who, who can qualify for this program? Is gender a criteria? And then you mentioned something about unicorns. Could you explain that? Okay, so uh, it's open to all Nigerians. Be, uh, be, I mean, Nigerians between the ages of 18 to 35. I'm sure we all are aware of uh, the very the bulge of uh, the young people in this country, and we're trying to really be able to inspire internal jackpot. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and that's the reason why we're going beyond just training. Uh, we're going beyond just uh, providing uh, employability yeah. skills to even helping you to make money. And that's why I also mentioned the fact that it wouldn't even matter whether you're a graduate. We're just saying that in the next five years, the type of skills that would be relevant in the economy. Uh, even across the whole world, would be one that is anchored on digital. And mm. we're trying to be able to prepare so unicorns? Our young people. Unicorns are, okay, I don't want to call any name, but unicorns are where you're able to build a business that is, becomes viable and you make money that can be, become valuable in millions of dollars. Okay. Mm. So you have become a unicorn. Okay. So we're looking to be able to produce unicorns. So my daughter is a world. unicorn. <laughs> she Let her join <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put someone to learn of some of these digital skills and just couldn't make it. Mm. What specific skills are um, you, you know, a participant looking to gain on this uh, platform? And how does the skill program work? So uh, what we've tried to do is to create tracks. Uh, we, we, uh, um, the applicant 
will be exposed to technological skills. A, we've developed about three curriculums, one that is on technology, one that is on entrepreneurship, and one that is also on soft skills. Uh, for the technology skills, they'll be exposed to courses like uh, you know, UX, UI design. Um, they'll be exposed to courses around product management. Uh, they'll be exposed to opportunities to be able to help them understand how to build a business. We'll be working, uh, we'll be helping them to uh, facilitate business registration because quite um, a lot of a um, number of uh, young entrepreneurs do not even think about registering the business, and I'm sure, I mean, which is the first step in formalization of your business. So uh, there are three tracks: soft skills, technology skills, and then entrepreneurship uh, skills that we're going to expose them to to make them to be well-rounded. Okay, so this is a very ambitious goal, and right. in the category of ambitious goals, you were trying. 2 million Nigerian youths. And We're talking 1 million, one million MSMs. Yes. The impact will be huge, you Absolutely. know. Um, but how are you planning to achieve this goal? Okay, so what it is that we've uh, done is we've, we have a platform that's been customized for this program. Okay. And everything that, that I've described from the training to mentorship, incubation, marketplace, and uh, the investor exposure, it's all on that platform. Okay. Additionally, uh, like I said, that this is a collaborative uh, initiative with federal government, uh, we are going to be having hubs uh, that would be established in 15 states. Uh, so what would happen is that uh, during the course, this program is going to happen over a period of eight months. Mm -hmm. The training was, will be for about four months. And then, you know, the uh, marketplace, the productification uh, would then be for the remaining um, eight months. Um, in between all of that, uh, the participants would also be required to uh, um, to take out, I mean, they'll carry out some activities in the hubs that will be located physically across the 15 states. So the state government would also be working with us on this. Uh, you know, they will be the one to provide the property and we would be equipping and training and just helping, you know, from a practical perspective, uh, we have a large number of partners. We have partners like uh, 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 Microsoft. We have, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have uh, partners like uh, uh, Microsoft. We have um, uh, EDC. Uh, working with us. We, the platform that we're also using is also from a partner. And it's quite interesting to see that a lot of uh, Nigerians are, are, you know, motivated to be able to work mm -hmm. to support her because uh, they really, this is, I mean, in alignment with their CSR objective. Mm -hmm. They're working with us, uh, providing services, supporting us, powering um, software tools to help us to really be able to make this happen. So it really is an ambitious one, but it's one that we're doing in collaboration with a lot of partners. In I mean, federal government, state government. Okay. Uh, so we believe together we would all win. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what kind of support are you, uh, various resources are you providing to help participants updated in this technological world? What kind of support and resources um, are you providing for them? Okay, so uh, like I mentioned earlier on, um, uh, the, the support of the resources that we would get would are all customized into the program, into the curriculum that we have built. Uh, the mentorship that uh, uh, that will be exposed to uh, these are uh, people. I mean, people like uh, Morario, people like uh, mm -hmm. Nima would probably be call of calling upon you to, you know, to help us to be able to engage. Uh, they would also be exposed to financial services. They'll be exposed to loans, to okay. grants. Okay. Uh, yes. That's where we yes. are. All right, good. That's <laughs> <laughs> very critical. I agree yes. with you. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. interested participants. How can they apply? Okay, so um, everybody, you can go to the uh, website, the Wama Bank's website. It's uh, fgskinnovation.ng. Uh, um, and, and once you click on there, um, you would uh, be exposed to all of the information about the program, and you can apply. And it's as simple as that. The one fgskinnovation.alat.ng. Exactly. Okay, it's on the screen already. Yes. Okay. So, um, so I wanted to ask, uh, you know, you were talking about 2 million Nigerians that you're looking to capture under this. How do you plan to spread it to, you know? Apply? No, no, just how does the training the happen? General geographical expression. Uh, geographically, is it across the country? Do you have centers? Well, how is that? So it, it's open to the 36 states plus FCT in the, in the country. Uh, but like I also um, I talked about, we oh. would have physical hubs in about uh, uh, 15 states. So, but it's open to every Nigerian across the 36 states. And that's the reason why, so it's a, a hybrid program. So irrespective of your location, uh, you are not cut off from uh, participating in this program. Yes. Okay. And women are very much uh, 
Um, mm -hmm. uh, yes, very much encouraged to be part of the program. Any final words on this? Because this is quite exciting. You know, when people hear federal government, they just, they, they're a bit taken aback. But once the private sector comes in, yeah. Yeah. they feel a bit more confident, okay, this is for real. Yes. So, yes. any final words to any young person watching you right now from Koto, anywhere? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. So, yeah, this is um, uh, something that is very remarkable. And I would say that... Uh, uh, there are quite a lot of challenges out there, in the, I mean, in the country. We're talking, I mean, several macroeconomic issues that we're facing. And like you pointed out, the private sector is stepping out to say we can, uh, if, if we all put our hands together, put our heads together, this is a solution. This is something that can benefit and, uh, you know, really uh, close disparities in income, I mean, income disparities. So it, it just, uh, I'm, I'm just looking for the adjective to use that. We're saying that, Look, your destiny is in your own hands, and we have created opportunity. It's a remarkable journey that we want everyone to uh, participate in. And like I said, this is an opportunity for you to also create your own internet jackpa, make money, and uh, you know become uh, and become self. I mean, a self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, opportunity for you to uh, to mm -hmm. make okay. money. For just to, as we wrap up, finally again, just so that because I like for people to actually understand what our guests are saying. So, for example, my job is I make beads, right? And I live in Sokoto, Sokoto right? And I've watched this program. First things first, I go to the website and apply, right? After application, somebody contacts me, right? When I'm contacted, then I'm invited for a training. I'm, only, I'm just flowing with me. Tell me when, when, I, when, when I'm going, going wrong. Mm -hmm. After the training, and I'm, I, for I'm, how, how many training. weeks online training is done, when it's complete, you also give me some funds. No, you take me to the hub. You take me to the no, no, I'm, no. I'm just, I want to be sure that okay. we, we have communicated. Yeah. So I get the funds, yeah. or I get the support, I get the resources, okay, and so then what happens next? So, oh, help, so you get what? the, tra so I mean, so like first, you said, you apply. Yes, using your example, you apply, Yes. and then you go to the training for a period of about uh, three to four months. Okay. And then after the training, we expose, you will work with a mentor, okay. uh, because we want to make sure that uh, you understand exactly what it is that you're doing. Okay. And then Fair after enough. that period, uh, even without money, you can go onto the marketplace and begin to sell. Mm -hmm. But then we would, you would also have opportunity to be able to get grant. Okay. You have opportunity if you, our business is valuable enough, you have opportunity to be able to get loans mm -hmm. that, um, you know, that align with... Uh, exactly. And then the, the, real, uh, the real deal is the fact that you have an opportunity to meet with investors. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we have uh, uh, millions of dollars that are already committed right. that we have from our partners to be able to support... Uh, some of the viable business opportunities that we're looking so for. So, from, to, from a from small here. local Sokoto yeah, young it, girl making bees, you can think, okay, I can export to Dubai, I can export to Ethiopia yes. with my bees Absolutely. once I go to this program. So, you can start thinking dreaming big. Absolutely. So, we want to make yes. sure that we understand. Yes. You. Thank you very much for Thank you. coming. It was a pleasure having you. Let's go on a quick break now. When we come back, once our gist for the day, stay with mm -hmm. us. We'll be right back.